Hey guys, Manny back here with another video on the Cascade Sense Fragrance Station and this is an open letter to Thierry Mugler. Now I'm not talking about Mugler as far as the man himself or his apparel endeavors. This channel is about fragrances so of course I'm talking about Mugler fragrances. Now the Mugler brand over the years has created some legendary lines in the designer level perfume world. For the most part I think they do a really good job with each of those lines but there are some things that I'd like to see furthermore from those lines and just the brand in general as far as the fragrance division. Some of the specific things I want out of Mugler might be seen as utopian, but a boy can hope, right? Anyway, let's finally get to this first point of the open letter, and that is, Dear Thierry Mugler, please create an original men's line of fragrances. Believe it or not guys, this has not been done yet. Mugler Cologne is actually a unisex line, and Amen of course is a male flanker slash equivalent to the Angel line for the women. Of course this Amen line has since made really successful flankers for men, and I really appreciate that because I love some of these flankers. That being said, as good a job as they do with these flankers, they do an even better job to patronize women. You know for those lines that are women only, like Womanity and Alien, that kind of stuff. That I want to see stuff created by Mugler for just men that women don't have access to too. Like, why can't we as well have our own gender exclusives on the designer level? I don't know what Mugler would call an original men's line from them, but I think it's about time that they think of something themselves. If you guys have an idea for an original men's Mugler line, please tell me in the comment section below. On to my second point, dear Thierry Mugler, please create Alien Man and Manatee with a line of flankers kind of like you guys did for Amen. Now if Mugler won't create an original line of men's fragrances, why not make more male equivalents of women's fragrances? Like I don't know about you guys, but I think Alien Man and Manatee would be pretty cool. Like I think us men deserve more than an Amen flanker from Mugler to look forward to every year. The more fragrance flankers, the merrier. As far as women's flankers, this is one of my favorites on a woman. This is Alien Essence Absolute, which is from the Alien line. Really good stuff here. Again, they do such a good job overall with all of their lines, but I just want to see a little bit more of that kind of stuff from men too. Just saying. Moving on to the third point of this letter, and we're still talking more about Amen because this is Mugler, of course. So dear Thierry Mugler, please create an Amen fragrance in which tea is the main note. I personally love tea, it's one of my favorite notes in all fragrances, and realistically speaking, I think an Amen tea-centered scent would be brilliant. Like as far as stuff that might lean warm weather, we have Cryptomint, we have Ultra Zest, and we have Pure Shot. And while that stuff is good altogether, I think they kind of pale in comparison to the quality of some of their cooler weather offerings. So a tea fragrance that might lean warm weather that is versatile altogether might be just what this line needs. Tea is also super safe like we've seen in some of my favorite fragrances like Gucci Pour Homme De and Silver Mountain water, but there's a lot of stuff that they could really touch on that they haven't done so for this line yet. I think pure incense, pure rose, and pure vanilla would be equally dope. And for the hell of it, why not tell me what you guys would like to see as the next Amen flanker in the comments below. Now moving on to my number 4, and yes we're still on the Amen topic, Dear Thierry Mugler please create a better Amen flask. Honestly guys, these stick out like a sore thumb and they're made of rubber, so they're super durable, so I do appreciate those kind of things. That being said, I don't believe in having to get surgical in order to have this thing spray better. Like any known Amen user knows that they can just cut the top and just get to the sprayer a little bit better. Of course that kind of sucks, so why not the people over at Mugler Engineering just make something a little bit better? I know I personally would appreciate it, and as long as this line is around and kicking, I think we'd all appreciate it altogether. So thumbs up if you want to see better flasks for Amen flankers already. Now let's move on to my last point, and no, this is not Amen related. This has to do with Mugler's least identifiable line, and that is Les Exceptions. So dear Thierry Mugler, please overhaul the Les Exceptions line. I bet that some of you didn't even know that Mugler had an exclusive level line, but they do. And that isn't your fault, because the distribution for this line is so tight that they're only really available in the biggest of metropolitan areas. And anyone who has smelled some of those fragrances in real life really hasn't hyped the line altogether because the evaluation totally sucks. Sure the line, like any line, has a couple all-stars and my favorite one being Over to Musk. And despite it being such a beautiful, clean, versatile musk, I still think that there are better smelling musks elsewhere for less of a price. And I also smelled a new hot cologne from the line, which is kind of like a niche level Mugler cologne. But I'm sorry about that too, it definitely doesn't smell like it's 200 plus. So overall, I'm still not sure what kind of basis this line needs to cover in order for them to be kind of competitive with other exclusive level lines. Like other exclusive level lines from other designers definitely have their 
bona fide all-stars. And nothing really sticks out here, so that's kind of a shame. If I had an idea for this line myself, I'd say maybe do a Gourmand fragrance. They're so good at those on the designer level, so why not do that for their exclusive level line? And yeah, I think that about does it. I think that's my last point from Mugler. I'm sure there's way more visible points to be made as far as this house and how they conduct their business fragrance-wise. And if you guys have anything like that that you'd like to add, please let me know in the comments again. And overall, I just hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to do more of these kind of open letters, also tell me, I'd really love to. This was a lot of fun, and I seldom get a chance to rant on this channel, but yeah, this has definitely been a slice. Also, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe if you want to see more if you haven't yet. And hopefully I see you on a future open letter or just about any fragrance related video. Thanks as always for tuning in to Cascade Sense. Take care guys, peace out, see you later.